Hi everyone! Can you remember when I gave Christine's ring pour a try a couple of weeks back? It did not work out as I wanted, but at least I ended up with something really really pretty and in case you did not see this video, I really recommend you watching this. It really ended up having an awesome result. But the entire project was on my mind ever since and I had to give it another try. Thanks to the recommendation of Joe Petty, and I will link her channel here as well, and she gave me a tip what I can do to get this effect that I want to achieve a bit easier and a bit more controlled. It is not that crafty after all, it's basically just cups glued into each other and I used three cups of three different sizes here as I had three colors and I'm really grateful for her tip on this one. I did two attempts this time. The first one was just an experiment if this works after all and the second one was the really successful one. So I did mix my paints up as I usually do and I've told this a hundred times now. It is just my acrylic binder, it is the paint and this water. There is no silicone in there because I do not want to have any cells at all and it has the consistency of honey, so average. Um, yeah, mixed my colors and put them into this super crafty little build thing that I made and just put it onto the canvas. This canvas is just a blank, it's an A4 size and there is no paint onto it, so this is just pure directly from the package. It looked pretty amazing in the beginning, so it looked as if there was this ring happening and I was really excited about how easy it was. I just had to pour the paint out, there was nothing more that I had to do. Of course I tilted the canvas from the beginning to allow the paint to flow over the canvas and it really looked amazing at the beginning point. Then when all the paint was poured I had to stretch it around to get the entire canvas covered and then it did not really turn out as I wanted. It went in a completely different direction, it got strange and weird and didn't look as a ring after all. So I was not that proud about this result, but as the beginning part was really promising, I had to give it another try. So I grabbed myself a new canvas and this time it is just a cardboard, so kind of cardboard wrapped around with the linen which creates the canvas and it's the very same colors, it's the very same tool, so you can see it's the same tool but it's covered in paint now and made the very same approach. So I put the black into the black canister, I put the gold into the second one and the white into the last one and put it over the canvas. Again tilted of course and this time it went perfectly. <laughs> as you can see I was really really happy about this result and as you have seen as well I put a layer of white underneath just to make it easier for the paint to flow over the canvas. I think it was the reason why the first result did not end up as I wanted it, because the paint wasn't able to flow over the canvas as it should have been perhaps. So it grabbed to the canvas and rolled under the paint on top of it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So this time I wanted to have the paint flow over the canvas a bit more easily without any grabbing to the canvas itself and I think that made the job pretty well. So it really went perfectly, I could stretch it. I would have loved to stop it before it goes over the edges though, but it, it happened. So it, it's okay for me. It really ended up pretty. And it went super quickly. So it was just pouring the paint in the cup and pouring it over there, stretching the paints. It was about, I don't know, three, four minutes. You have it in real time here. So you can see how quickly it went. And once it was dry, it really looked even more amazing than it was in the wet phase. The gold dried beautifully and it has some kind of holographic look on this one when you go up close. So I tried to catch it on the photos and in the video that I filmed outside in the sunlight to give it the exact shimmer that you will see in real life as well. And I think it kind of catched it. It has an even more holographic and 3D effect in real life though, but I think you will get the point when you see it. I am really happy about the end result and I'm pretty sure I'm using this technique more often in the future as well. So I do have my little tool now which allows me to create these wings and probably I can try scaling it up as I so often do it feels. But we will see. So I guess this basically sums up everything that I did for this project. I just wanted to show you my result and that I'm super happy that I finally managed to do the ring pour. 
I'm super glad that it turned out that pretty. And Christine, of course, I would love to hear your thoughts about it. What do you think about my result? Again, a thank you and shout out to Joe Petty for this super trick and tip for the cups to pour it with. And yeah, I really hope you liked my result in the video. If this was the first video that I've seen of mine, please make sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And even better, subscribe to my channel to not miss out any of my new videos. Therefore, you can click the bell icon, of course. Please also share this with your friends and family in social media to help my channel grow. And if you wonder which materials I've used, as usual, I have linked everything in the video description below. If you want to connect with me on social media, you will also find all the links below as well as my Etsy store if you want to adopt something for your homes. So other than that, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for watching and I see you in my next videos. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye.